Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and welcome to the English Nupung Phuc Radio television stations and newspaper. Following are the headlines for today. Bung Phuc leader work with ADB on climate change adaptation projects. Bung Phuc building a self promotion plant. Bung Phuc enjoy impressive growth in exports and import turnover. State President Võ Văn Thưởng received former President of Chile. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính chair government meetings on law buildings. Top Vietnamese and Chinese legislators hold online talk. And now other detail. Chairwoman of the Bình Phước Province of People Committee Trần Tuệ Hiền recently chairs an online working section with an ASEAN Development Bank's delegation to discuss the implementation of infrastructure projects for sustainable development and climate change adaptation in the southeastern province. Bình Phước Province plans to use part of concessional loans from the ADB to implement the project with total investment of nearly five trillion dollars. It comprises three components, preventing flooding in areas in Dong Suai City and Dong Phu District, improving road network links, and supporting institutional and policy-making capacity. Being full urged for speeding up the implementation of the project in the 2021 to 2025 period. ADP said it will review the province's proposals to ensure they align with climate change adaptation requirements. ADP representatives listed certain documents that are required to obtain lending and pledge to work with the province to accelerate project implementation. Ladies and gentlemen, Bình Phước is developing a plan to promote ETMS in 2023-2025. This is among the important content of action program number 17 from the Bình Phước Provincial Party Committee, which aims to realize the resolution from the 13th National Party Congress and the resolution from the Provincial Party Congress for the 2020-2025 term. The plan aims to promote the land, people and unique culture of the 41 ethnic minority groups in the province. It will also unveil the potential, strengths, guidelines and policies of the province on investment attraction. Bingford wants to express its rising aspirations to other localities nationwide as well as domestic and foreign partners, businesses and investors. The province is striving to build its image as a land a promise for development and increase its prestige and position at home and abroad. Social media will be an important channel for the province to promote itself among domestic and international tourists and investors. The self-promotion plan is expected to have been full realized the target set in 2020 to 2025 and the provincial development strategy to 2030 and vision to 2050. Encouraging production and creating high-quality products, in addition to expanding markets and promoting trade activity, has been among the key solutions outlined by the Southeastern Province of Bình Phước to realize its imports and exports targets over the recent years. Thanks to the effective implementation of such measures, Bình Phước Province has posted positive results in export import turnover in the opening months of this year. In addition to tapping traditional markets and seeking new ones, businesses have also actively expanded their networks, boosted productivity and improved product quality. Convenient customs clearance has also helped businesses shift their goods abroad. Local enterprises were also proactive in reforming trade promotions of key products and tapping markets of potential. According to the Provincial Department of Industry and Trade, export turnover rose 6.43 percent to over $550 million in the first two months of 2023. Import turnover, meanwhile, exceeded $219 million, a year-on-year -year rise of 6.6 percent.
Ladies and gentlemen, State President Võ Văn Thưởng hosts a reception for former President of Chile, Michel Bachelet, who is paying a visit to Vietnam on the occasions of the 52nd anniversary of the bilateral diplomatic tie between the two countries. Welcoming the guest, President Thương appreciated her special sentiments on consolidating and promoting the tradition of friendship and cooperation between Vietnam and Chile. Thương highlighted the close ties between Vietnam and Chile despite their far geographical distance. He suggested the two countries take more measures to forge economic cooperation, step up collaboration at multilateral forums, and increase exchanges between localities and citizens. For her part, Bachelet expressed her special sentiments for Vietnamese land and people. Both Vietnam and Chile are members of the UN Human Rights Council and the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, which would facilitate the enhancement of the bilateral ties in the time ahead and enable them to join hands to fulfill common goals of the international community, she noted. The government convened a thematic meeting on law building under the chair of Prime Minister Phan Minh Chin in Hanoi on March 27. Opening the meeting, Prime Minister Chin stressed the importance of creating an open legal corridor that is suitable to the country's conditions and circumstances. Government members, ministries and sectors, especially their heads, need to do better in lawmaking and continue to direct and lead the building of and comment on draft legal documents, he requested. During the meeting, the participants moved over the National Assembly's draft resolution on piloting several mechanisms and policies. They included those relating to removing obstacles in transport infrastructure construction, the management of entry, asset, chances, and residents of foreigners in Vietnam, among others. According to Prime Minister Ching, in the first quarter of this year, the government convened three meetings on law building and offered opinions on 16 bills and draft legal documents. National Assembly Chairman Vương Đình Huệ held online talk with the chairmen of the Standing Committee of the National People Congress of China, Zhao Lezhi, on March 27. This is the first contact between key leaders of the two parties and two countries since the beginning of 2023. During the talk, the two sides highlighted the traditional friendship relations between the two parties and countries, which was established by President Ho Chi Minh and President Mao Zedong. The two sides agreed to try to realize development goals and visions in line with the common perception of the two countries' senior leaders, continue to strengthen contacts of all levels, promote bilateral trade cooperation towards balance and sustainability, peacefully control disagreements at sea, ensure peace and stability in the region, and take advantage of existing external mechanisms to accelerate cooperation in all fields, among others. Regarding the relationship between the two legislative bodies, they reaffirmed to work closely to make the cooperation relationship practical and effective, contributing to strengthening the comprehensive strategic partnership between the two countries. A sibling market is from a 2,300-year-old bodhichi, the oldest of its species in the world, has been planted at the Biden Pagoda in the northern province of Nimbin. The tree, named Sri Mahabodhaya, stands in Sri Lanka. It was said to be propagated from the famous Bodhi tree, under which Siddhartha Gautama, the Lord Buddha, was sitting when he gained enlightenment. With permissions from the Sri Lankan government, and the local pagoda housing the sacred fig, and support from the South Asian country's embassy in Vietnam, the sapling was planted in Bai Din, at a ceremony on March 25th. The ceremony followed a pilgrimage, starting March 21st, by monks and Buddhist followers, from the Vietnamese pagoda to Sri Lanka, to bring the sapling back to Vietnam. The Bai Din Pagoda is part of a local Trang and landscape complex, that was recognized as a World Cultural and Natural Heritage Site by UNESCO. 
and that's all for today on Bình Phước Radio, Television Station, and Newspaper News. Once again, thanks for watching and goodbye for now. Thank you.